World of Dentistry. Dental solutions for your dental needs. Hypomineralization of the enamel. Do you want to know everything about enamel hypomineralization? In this video, we will show you everything you need to know about the condition from its causes to prevention and treatment. In addition, we will take a tour of different cases of hypomineralization to show what the condition looks like at different levels of severity. What is enamel hypomineralization? This genetic condition is characterized by a decrease in the mineral content of the teeth, which results in white or yellow spots. The condition affects both primary and permanent teeth and is most common during the third trimester of pregnancy or early life. The affected teeth are more prone to decay, softening, cracks, and fractures. What causes enamel hypomineralization? Although the exact causes are unclear, studies suggest that hypomineralization may be due to a genetic predisposition, as well as environmental factors such as poor nutrition, excess fluoride, maternal smoking during pregnancy, vitamin D deficiency, premature birth, a lack of oxygen at birth, fever, and respiratory problems during the first years of life. Tour of Cases now, we will show different cases of hypomineralization, from mild to severe. In mild cases, white spots can be seen on the surface of the teeth, while in moderate cases, yellow or brown spots appear, as well as weakness in the tooth structure. In severe cases, the stains extend over much of the tooth surface, and fractures and tooth sensitivity are seen. How to prevent and treat enamel hypomineralization Hypomineralization prevention is based on good nutrition, avoiding excess fluoride, and maintaining good oral hygiene. Hypomineralization treatment varies, depending upon the degree of involvement, but can include dental sealing, the use of composite resins, and, in severe cases, a dental crown. It is important to follow up regularly with the dentist to detect and treat any problems early. Conclusion Enamel hypomineralization is a genetic condition that affects one in five children. Although the exact causes are unclear, they are believed to be related to genetic and environmental factors. It is important to follow up regularly with your dentist to detect and treat any problems early. In addition, it is important to follow good nutrition, avoid excess fluoride, and maintain good oral hygiene to prevent hypomineralization. Do not forget to share this video with family and friends so that they will also know about this condition. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.